let's go ahead and get going check out those views On my way up, heading straight up this valley here. And check that out up top there. We got some snow up there. Looking back from where I just came, pretty cool view with the sun just coming up, hitting the tops of the mountains. It is about maybe 50 degrees out right now. It's a nice cool day for hiking up. Still sweating a little bit though because this trail is all uphill. Oh wow, look at the colors on this tree here. This little guy, beautiful red, yellow, orange, getting a little higher, a little bit out of breath, but not too bad. Look at that, we got frost on the leaves here, still some morning frost, I'll check out the waterfall coming down over there, zoom in on that, it's coming from way up top there, the snow melt, we got Paleo bars, grain free, dairy free, no refined sugars. Only six grams of protein, but they'll do for now and they taste wonderful. Some kind of landslide here, perhaps. Or the water really comes gushing through here when it's spring and all the snow is melting. One or the other comes from right there. Water could really come barreling down through there. Got these new Columbia waterproof breathable hiking boots. Trying them out. Actually got them the beginning of last winter, but uh used them a few times now and I will do a review on them so stay tuned for that watch out for that I'll put the link down below as well for you I think that's where I'm heading is up top there also if you're on Facebook watching this make sure you hit that like button and then please share this with your friends as well it would really be appreciated. Now, if you're Look at the reds. Beautiful reds way out there. Mixed in with the greens. Oh yeah, check this out. Right here. Pretty cool. Some snow on the log here. people somebody's cup yeah. don't be that person now I gotta carry it out and that's gross Utah Valley Thank you. look at that right over that crest there that is the Great Salt Lake over there there is where I started, working my way up, Great Salt Lake, Salt Lake City out there, pretty beautiful view, and still have a little ways to go, heading up there, I think 
The lake is maybe up over there. There's a wall. <laughs> There she is. Pretty cool. Old dead tree there. Pretty big one for this high up. So right out there, that is the Great Salt Lake out there in Salt Lake City down below. Pretty cool. If you've never checked that out, been out to the Antelope Island out there. Highly recommended. Really cool views out there. If you ever get a chance to do a hike like this, it's awesome. Video can't begin to describe how small it makes you feel in a good way. I love the red of this shale rock. Pretty cool. Down below there, you can see the stream way down there. That's the one I was walking alongside for quite a long ways. And then we came up this side over here, walked all the way up to the lake. I got to walk a nice trail up here. Just imagine being the first people who came up here. Clearing that route for everybody. Greatly appreciate whoever did that. Made my life a lot easier. Salt Lake Valley out there and then we'll rest a little bit and then start fishing. <clears throat> one white one amongst all this red and brown black. Oh, there's another one. Another little guy, frost on it. And then this is all shale rock. Loose, most of it. Beautiful alpine lake. Very nice. Oh, and there's another one over there. Nice. I'm going to fish both of them. And we'll have to check out that old wall there. That's half crumbling down. She's cold. This is the old reservoir wall. Pretty cool old wall here. Did not withstand the forces of nature though. Alright, I'm gonna put my pack down here and get ready to fish. I believe this one is Lake Blanche. Can't get much better fish reviews than that. All right, gonna start her out with a silver spoon here. Gold snap swivel on there, just give it a little contrast and we will see what happens. I've seen a few uh, fish surface out here already, so I know there's fish. Um, but let's see if we can get some cutthroat and or some grayling. Um, I'm really hoping for some arctic grayling because I've never caught them before, so let's do it. First cast. There he is. Right at the shore. Beautiful cutthroat. Get my hands wet here. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. Look at that. Beautiful cutthroat trout. Get that out of your mouth right away. 
beautiful fish. Look at that. Look at the colors. Look at inside of his mouth. Just like black. Get a little picture. And back in the water here. There he goes. First cast a hit, second cast follow up, third cast, third time's the charm. There we go. Yeah, another beauty. Use the net this time. Oh. There we go. I love the brown, or the black, I mean, on the bottom of them. It's just beautiful on those spots. Super vibrant red on there. Just cool. Very beautiful fish. Indeed. There we go. There he is. Very nice. I've hooked them all right in that the lip area now. There we go. Another beauty. Not quite as colorful as the last one, but look at those spots. It's just awesome. No black on the belly of this guy, but look at how fat he is. He's eating pretty good. Got a belly on him. And this here, you can see their lateral line going down. That is what they use to sense vibrations in the water. That's why lures that make vibrations are good. And look at the stripes on top there. Very beautiful. Get him back in the water here. Got this guy in the side. Oh. Little guy, just a little guy. Come here, buddy. Oop. In the tail. Got him, look at that, right in the tail on that guy. He didn't want to take it. Little guy, but beautiful as well. Very nice. Now, this is definitely a lot lighter. Not going to be able to get it out there as far. But it's smaller. And they might be interested in that a little bit more. Let's find out. Let's try the gold version of what I was previously throwing. And we will switch back to what was working here. First cast back with the silver. Oh, I can see one right out there. Not sure if you can see that, but with the polarized glasses I can. Yeah, without I can't really. Big reason for polarized glasses. If you want to see the review that I did for these guys that I'm wearing here, I'll put that link down below for you. They're called Fly Fishermen. Fly Fisherman Foe. It's amazing the difference. Wow, look at him. He is extremely dark. Look at the black on him. All over his mouth as well. Open it up there, buddy. On his tongue. Beautiful fish. Not as colorful as the others, but dark. Very dark. Get the other side of you there. Nice. And look at the white on his fins there. Really stands out amongst that dark. There he goes. Look at the white on those fins. Really stands out. Beautiful fish. Just slowly going away there. See all the ripples come from shore there? They're right up on the shore here almost. Just hugging it. There we go. Little fatter guy. Fought really nicely. Look at that orange. This one's not black on the bottom as much as just very, very orange. And the white. Very beautiful fish. Very nice. Get him back in the water here. So there's lots of weeds, but then 
like right here you got a nice cleared out spot cleared out spot cleared out cleared out cleared out cleared out and they want to fish off of the bed here a nice one this is where they're coming to spawn right in here very nice the fish will come up in here and they'll clean these areas out with their fins and their tails and that's where they'll lay their eggs and protect them. The trout magnets with me. They're these little jig heads. I'm gonna try one of those. All right, there you go. Nice little jig. This has a little more weight to it. Different action. Come on, there it goes. There we go. Just got to find the right bait. Oh boy, that's the first one that's inside the mouth as well. Gonna have to use the uh, needle nose here for the first time. Nice color pattern on him. A little different than the others. Beautiful guy. Black, gold, white. Very nice. Get him back in the water right away. He got hooked a little worse than the others. So. And that was on the gold with the black spinner with some colors on there. A little orange ball. They liked that one. They did not like the old gold Castmaster. See if we can get another one to take. There's one. There we go found the bait. He hit her pretty hard too. Didn't get in his mouth like the last one as much but he hit it hard. Not as colorful as the others but he's got some like blues around, blue hue around the red there which is pretty cool. Nice and fat. They're eating well up here which is good. Wish we could get some arctic grayling though. There it goes, he's going upstream. And now, just so everybody knows, I'm using the High Altitude Brands Telescopic Rod, of course, backcountry rod. Uh, but this is our reel, this is a sample that we are working on. This one's going to be called Backcountry 1000. Um, and so far, so good. You know, I wasn't sure if I'd like this big handle here, uh, but so far I'm liking it. Easy to hold on to, easy to grab. So far, so good. Just gonna need some tweaks and should be a really good reel. Nice. Beautiful blues on him. Very nice fish. Calm down, bud, calm down. One trick, if you hold fish upside down, they will usually calm right down for you. Like they kind of like get paralyzed. Oh. Keep them wet. Get them in the net here too. It's just a little bit easier to work on that way. Got him, got him. I think he'll be alright. Well, we've definitely actually got a little flow here. You can hear that. That is coming from underneath me. There's water flowing underneath this. Oh wow, there's a third one over there too. Nice. Very cool. So now I just gotta get down.
Oh, I see a dead fish out there. Right down there, body up. Or, yeah, upside down. Okay, switch to the gold cast master here again. Wanted to switch to the silver, but I realized I think I lost it because I had hooked it on my vest here while I was swapping the other one out and forgot to put it inside the pocket. So lesson learned. Let's see how gold the gold goes here. All right, one of the Joe's flies with a pink fly on it. Completely different. Can't get it out there that far, but I don't think I have to. They seem to be close. It looks like somebody's been walking in here. See, uh, like the footprints going out. Oh, there was a fisherman that went in, or somebody just went in, or some animal. Looks like footprints, though. See one down there, I think. Make a cast before I go any further down. He was interested, but he didn't see it soon enough. One thing about fishing at 9,000 feet, not really any other fishermen. All built of the materials they found here. Pretty cool. A lot of work. I'll have to look up and see when these were built. I'll put that down in the uh, comments and I'll also put it right here on the screen for you. So you can check it out. A lot of work put into that. All to save water. Pretty cool a reflection off the water from those yellow red trees up there. I can't any on stuff on the surface or coming to the surface, so let's see if we can look like a bug that might be coming to the surface. Let's do this right. Got some tippet here as well. That'll make it almost invisible. Torture, I can hear them uh, eating all around me. Okay. And then I've got a float here. Try it right about where the tie is to start. Yep, there we go. All right, just had to get the right depth here. Oh. Okay, trout magnet to the rescue there. And they stopped biting on the spinners and look at this one. And the trout magnet came right out. Nice and pinks on him. Get my hand wet. Oh. Touch him. Well, there you go. The trout magnet didn't work the way I'd hoped on the river, but up here, 
getting me fish when nothing else is. Got them. Seen them come up. That's a little nicer one. I think I hooked that one good. Let's get them in the net though. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice. Another decent one. Got him pretty good. Back into the freezing water. There you go. Another one. Hooks them good for the most part, but it comes out of their mouth nice and easy too. In a good way when you got them in the net anyways. Got to get going now before it gets dark here. Alright. Trout magnet for the win for sure. Alright. Pops right out of there. And there you go. And by the way, if you don't have one of these style nets with the like the rubber instead of the nylon string or whatever, definitely get one like this. Um, you can check out down below a link to this guy here. I've had it for years now. Works fantastic. Looks really nice. Your hook doesn't get caught in this stuff at all. So it's really nice. See if we can get them with the trout magnet. And by the way, we're going to be interviewing these guys on the show. They sent me this gear. Wanted to test it out. See how it worked. Ooh, one came out of that crevice. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Right in the nose. There we go. Okay, adios. All right, well that was awesome. Now for our hike out. I think I got one more protein bar left. Yeah, eat that guy. These guys are excellent, our explorers. Howdy. <laughs> Thank you. How's it going? Yeah, lovely day, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. One last look. And work my way all the way down. Until next time. Right. made it back to the car here really good trip really good trip didn't catch any arctic grayling but beautiful views i'm feeling it though uh, my feet are feeling it i'm ready to go sit down for a little while maybe have a burger or something but uh before i sign off here make sure if you haven't already click subscribe and then click that little bell to get notified of more videos just like this